Hi friends and welcome back to another VGC 2019 Moon Series How to Play Guide and in today's guide we're back on the restricted train we're going to be looking at the Pokemon Mewtwo the original restricted Pokemon from Red and Blue so we have covered quite a few other Pokemon so far in this guide series. If you haven't checked them out already, go up here. You can check them out and make sure to go back so you haven't missed anything and you're all up to date with what we're doing here. So as I say, we're going to look at Mewtwo today. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's another one of my favorite restricted. It doesn't get used a lot, but it has a lot of potential within this format. Hopefully we can unlock some of that today. As always, do, if you enjoy the content, drop a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with when these guides and make sure to leave your comments because I do love hearing your thoughts on these guides and just your general opinions on how these Pokemon operate within the Moon series. So without further ado guys, let's get into this one. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go with Mewtwo. So as always, we're going to take a first look at the Pokemon overview. Mewtwo is a psychic type. It has the ability pressure. The ability pressure works as in the opponent targeting that pressured Pokemon loses one additional PP in that particular move upon the execution of that attack. So common attacks that you're gonna see in Mewtwo, it has the signature psychic type attack of Psy Strike. It is a very strong base 100 psychic type attack and acts a lot like Psy Shock. Got Aura Sphere, it's a very nice option for Mewtwo. Special type fighting type attack, Shadow Ball and Flamethrower are other common options that you're gonna see on Mewtwo. It does have access to Taunt and some other really good supporting options as well. Type strengths and weaknesses, because it's psychic typing, it is gonna be weak to Bug ghost and dark it doesn't have any immunities here and it does have some nice resists in fighting and psychic then hit normally by everything else base stat total for Mewtwo is going to be huge it's got a 680 base stat total 106 HP 110 attack 90 defense 154 special attack 90 special defense and 130 speed so the ones that really stand out here are going to be the speed stat 130 base speed going to be really outspeeding most things in the format and then and the 154 special attack boosting those special type attacks that are going to be coming out of Mewtwo making it a very fast and offensive Pokemon one that you really need to be aware of it doesn't have a big usage within this format but it does hit very hard and it is very fast so you cannot underestimate this Pokemon one little bit moving into the sample sets the first one that we're going to kick off today with is the Psychium Z a very favorite item choice for myself Mewtwo we've gone with a timid nature we're not messing around with this EV spread of 252 special attack 4 special defense and 252 speed just primarily going for that maximum speed, making sure that you are at speed in as much of the format as possible and hitting it as hard as possible. Partnering Pokemon that you're gonna want with this Mewtwo specifically is gonna be Tapu Lele for one. It protects Mewtwo with the Psychic Terrain against those priority attacks, allowing it to get function properly, be very threatening, and also that Psychic Terrain boosting that size Strike, Psychium, Z, Shattered Psyche. Coming off Mewtwo as well, just increasing that and making it even more threatening and scary other common partners you're gonna see Kyogre is a common partner that you've seen a lot of players lean on and also Incineroar as well because it does have nice synergy with Mewtwo its weaknesses primarily are ghost and dark which Incineroar can switch in nicely on it also has intimidate support to support Mewtwo fake out support as well so pairing up quite nicely there attacking calculation example for this set is a 252 special attack Mewtwo Shattered Psyche which is 180 base power versus a 236 HP, 236 plus careful special defense Groudon in psychic terrain is in pretty much guaranteed one hit kill. You've got a 93% chance to knock out Groudon with this attack, which is huge. And that's your bulkiest you'll see Groudon really getting in this format. So most of the time when you're going up against a Groudon, if you've got those conditions set on the field, then you know you'll be able to really deal with it quite easily. Defensive calculation, if you can make sure to get a Intimidate onto Eveltal, then a minus one, two, five, two attack, Jolly, Dark Aura boosted Eveltal knockoff versus Mewtwo, you are gonna be always able to take that attack. Common checks 
as I've mentioned already, one of them, Eveltal, Tapufini, another because it disrupts the terrain that really boosts and helps support Mewtwo, and also Cortana as well because it is going to be able to take those psychic type attacks, especially if it's holding something like an assault vest. And if you're going for a size strike just in general because it's going off that defensive stat, Cortana has a huge defense stat and it'll be able to take those all day long and then throw out threatening knockoffs, leaf blades, smart strikes, all things that are going to be hitting Mewtwo for very good damage. So another good check for it there even though Mewtwo will outspeed it and if it has got access to Flamethrower I can deal with Cartana quite easily. Bit of a double edged sword there, depends what supporting moves you've got and options on Mewtwo. That covers the Psychium Z set to kick us off today. Another common set that we're going to look at is the Life Orb set. If the Z move doesn't feel very comfortable for you, you can go down another route and make sure that you are getting a lot out of it. Now I've went for a bit of a different EV spread here. We've got a Timid Nature still maximizing that speed stat but we've got some tweaked EVs. We went for 4 HP, 4 defense, 4 special attack, 252 special defense, and 244 speed. So that speed stat will allow Mewtwo to hit a raw speed stat of 199. And for a specific calculation, it is against Lunala. Lunala, if your opponent has it, it's a great Pokemon to lead into Mewtwo because it threatens it. It's going to be able to take multiple attacks from Mewtwo, especially all those psychic type attacks if that's all you've got. Even if it's got Shadow Ball through the Shadow Shield, you'll be able to take those attacks. One of the things you want to do is pair Tapu Koko with that Mewtwo. Tapu Koko's raw speed stat is 200. It will always outspeed the Mewtwo. So it can Dazzling Gleam, it can Electric type attack into the Lunala, break that Shadow Shield, and then you can see from the attacking calculation example here, a four special attack Life Orb Mewtwo Shadow Ball versus a Lunala. 99% health it's on to do this calc is 102 to 122 damage output, guaranteed one hit kill. So making it easily dealable with Mewtwo with just that Shadow Ball and Tapu Koko next to it. And the defensive calculation here we've got an example of is to allow Mewtwo because it is under speeding Tapu Koko by one point. So a timid Tapu Koko, Gigavolt Havoc in electric terrain, which is pretty huge. It also allows you to survive Moongeist beams from Lunala and a lot of other options as well that you're gonna see heavy, big special attacks coming out against Mewtwo. So a bit of an interesting set. You're gonna see attacking options on this sort of Mewtwo like Psy Strike, Aurora Sphere, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, all very good options depending on what your team needs support with. But Psy Strike is gonna be the staple on this Mewtwo. Taunt's a nice option as well to shut down Paws and Xerneas and things like that, things that are gonna set up as well. Common partners, obviously you want the Tapu Koko there for that, that combination against the Lunala. You're gonna have the Xerneas, it's also a nice partner. Has nice synergy as well with Mewtwo and also Cartana as well. Common checks are gonna be things like Solgaleo. It is gonna be able to sit in Mewtwo, in front of Mewtwo all day long, even if it has Shadow Ball, it'll be able to take those. Solgaleo tend to be bulky, uh, throw out some big damage, back you're gonna have Groudon as well Groudon if you are relying on that side strike because of its high defensive stat it is able to take those side strikes a lot better than a lot of the other restricted Pokemon in the format and then Incineroar as well because of its dark typing really threatens Mewtwo it has to be a bit wary about the Aurora Sphere but again with those knockoffs and U-turns that it does possess that it will cause Mewtwo a few issues so something to be aware of there just a different outlet to looking at how to run the life orb as well one of the things that you'll see generally run on Mewtwo with Life Orb is just that generic 252 special attack 252 speed and there's nothing wrong with that but this just trying to open your eyes to different ways of running sets and spreads on Mewtwo and the combinations as well of Pokemon of how to deal with big threats like Lunala so hopefully this is something you've enjoyed and we'll move on to the next example it's a little bit similar to what the Life Orb set is doing but slightly different in the same respect but we are looking at a choice specs Mewtwo here. Again, players will tend to go for a 252 speed, 252 special attack, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just maximizing the speed, maximizing the damage output as well. It tends to be what Mewtwo players will do just to make sure that they are getting as much damage as fast as possible onto the field. Now I've went for a slightly different variation here. It's along the same lines of that Life Orb set. It's a bit more defensive, takes a few more hits, and can still do big damage with that choice specs boost. Again, the Second options here are going to be the same. Common common partners we're going to see on this sort of Mewtwo are going to be again Tapu Lele with that psychic terrain boosting the psychic type attacks. Amoongus is very nice for that redirection support for Mewtwo. And Eveltal is another very nice option. It helps combat against those ghost types that are very threatening to Mewtwo and also a nice switch in for the dark type threats as well. So EV spread here is going to be 4 HP, 4 defense, 36 special attack. 
212 special defense and 252 speed just maximizing that speed stat that's the important thing in this one and then the defense benchmark i wanted to hit here was choice scarf kyoga water spouts so the 4 hp 212 special defense investment in this mewtwo allows you to always survive that kyoga water spout and then you can see if you've got the psychic terrain up a 36 special attack choice specs mewtwo side strike versus a 4 hp no defense kyoga in psychic terrain is always a guaranteed one hit kill so you're doing that heavy damage back and you can always survive that choice scarfed kyoga and they are the benchmarks there so that explains a little bit on the choice spec set and i think because of the balance of defense that you've got there and the attacking threat as well with the speed combined it's a very nice balance overall with how mewtwo can operate and it just gives you a bit more comfortability when you're using it i think just aside from that standard 252 252 set so it's just a little variation but you can always fall back on the 252 252 set if you don't feel like your damage output is enough or you're missing certain calculations on certain important pokemon that your opponent is using or the team struggles against slightly so that is the choice spec set let's move on to the next one which is going to be the psychic seed set a bit of an interesting build here we've went for again a little bit more of an interesting ev spread we've got 4 hp 130 32 defense, 204 special attack, 28 special defense, and 140 speed and what the psychic seed does if the psychic terrain is on the field it activates that psychic seed and gives Mewtwo a plus one in special defense removing its berry so it's not as prone to knock off damage and also making it able to take the special attacks a lot better common partners are going to be something like Tapu Lele you're going to need that to activate the psychic seed Eveltal again and then Tapu Koko is another option as well with that and common checks again we're going to see things like Incineroar, Cartana and Dust Mane Necrozma that will be able to wall if not do very good damage and work against Mewtwo especially because its defense stat is not boosted as well as its special defense in this case. So attacking calculation example here we can see that Mewtwo can take a plus two 252 very aura boosted Xerneas Moonblast 100% of the time which is really nice so for the example for the speed investment that we've got here for that 140 speed in V investment with the timid nature allows you to outspeed all base 100 Pokemon max speed base 100 Pokemon so that includes Xerneas and Eveltal in that with char base 99 so if Xerneas does go for a Geomancy it's a bit like the Tapu Lele with the Psychic Seed set you can go for that side strike turn one get the big damage onto it 50% and then the next turn you're always going to be able to take that that plus two moon blast and then knock it out so that works in that respect you can see as well if you haven't got your psychic terrain up the defensive investment here allows you to take a jolly 252 attack or a boosted Eveltal sucker punch a hundred percent of the time which is very nice and something else to fall back on as well you're going to be able to take water spouts with this defensive boost from the psychic seed and a flurry of other special attack options so that covers that one and another nice option outside of the z move and some other item choices on mewtwo right now let's end things up with a counter options and summary of mewtwo so mewtwo going over the speed stats that it can hit a max speed of 200 raw speed stat is a maximum it can hit make sure if you are scarfing something slow maybe to outspeed mewtwo get a jump on it you just want to be making sure that you're over that 200 speed stat it's minimum speed if you go on the other way in trick room is going to be 121 unless it's holding an iron ball i very much doubt they are but you know you just need to keep that in mind but a common speed that that you're going to see on Mewtwo is always going to be that 200 players are going to want to take advantage of that huge 130 base stat that it has at its disposal you're going to see common attacks Psy Strike, Aurora Sphere, Shadow Ball, Flamethrower, Thunder, Taunt there's lots of options that Mewtwo gets access to but these are some of the common ones that you'll see and it common items you're going to see on Mewtwo are going to be the Psykinium Z again the Phytinium Z could be an option on Mewtwo the Ghostium Z you've got a lot of good options on Mewtwo so you've got to be aware that it can carry different options it's not going to be the most popular Pokemon in the format but it can do a lot of work if played right life orb again going to be a very popular item choice specs psychic seed as well another option we've looked at today and some different EV spreads as well just to give you examples of how else Mewtwo can be played and it, that's the thing it can always be played 252 252 there's nothing wrong with that you'll get a lot of mileage from that but just to open your eyes to other options that's why i've included some really niche 
EV spreads just to give you guys ideas on how else Mewtwo can be played and operated within this format. Some common checks are always going to be things like Lunala, Aegislash, Incineroar with its dog type and Mimikyu with that disguise and its ghost type and can do a lot of damage to Mewtwo, avoid that big damage turn one and do some big damage in return set up Trick Room, all sorts of shenanigans so you've got to be careful with that and then Eveltal as well going to be the other restricted Pokemon that causes Mewtwo a lot of problems. Best format walls are going to be the Steel Psychics that resist for the most part those Psychic type attacks, those Fighting type attacks, they're not going to take too much damage from with that Psychic typing. Shadow Ball is your best option if you're using Mewtwo against these sort of Pokemon but if you haven't got that or Flamethrower then you're going to struggle against these Pokemon heavily which are going to be Bronzong, Sogolea and Duskman Necrozma to name a few. So that rounds up Mewtwo. I hope you guys have enjoyed this guide today it's been a lot of fun going through me too it's one of my favorite pokemon and i hope you do try it out i think it's got a lot of utility in this format the one thing is there are maybe better restricted options but if you like me too and you want something that hits hard hits fast and can do a lot of damage early on in the game then me too is a perfect pokemon for you so i would strongly suggest to try it out maybe try some of the different ev spreads and sets that we've got in this guide as well specifically we've outlined a lot of the things that threaten it so you can support it well enough because you know about the big threats to it but it's just giving it a chance and pairing it up with the right restricted pokemon in this format but that rounds it up guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed this guide leave your comments down below and i'll look forward to reading through them very shortly and we'll wrap things up there until the next guide so until then guys take care of yourselves have a great morning afternoon evening what time ever time of day it is where you are and i will see you all for the next one so until then bye bye